Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about the SQL injection. This is a very interesting and important uh, web attack that happens on the web server. So SQL injection is widely used to abuse the SQL statements and to bypass the authentication check. Here's one of the examples. Here uh, is a web page where the user is allowed to type in the username and password and click the view the account details. And this the information has been sent as a form and received by the database on the server uh, and to execute such SQL statements. As you can see that in this SQL statements, it's basically selecting uh, the account information from the accounts table uh, where the username have to be whatever the user has typed in here and the password has to be matching the one that uh, uh, displayed here. As a result, uh, what, the, uh, what the database is doing is that it will check each of its record and only return the record that the username uh, equals to the user typing here and the password is equal to the user typing here. Right. So this is basically the logic of the database to actually check in the user's account to do authentication. But the attacker can abuse this kind of feature by injecting some uh, strange strings and the result it can somehow pipe uh, change the content and change the uh, selection logic of this statement so let's see the details by looking at the examples so I'm going to show you one concrete example of SQL injection using the Mutility which is a vulnerable web server uh, pre-installed on the client virtual machine so I'm going to go to the local host Mutility Web server, and then I go to uh, injection SQL extract data and user info. Injection SQL extract data and user info. In here, it basically asks the user to type in the username and password, then it will reveal the account information. If we type in the username, the mean, and the password as the mean pass. If I click the view account details, then it basically lists the record uh, that name whose name is uh, admin and the username is password admin pass. Uh, so this basically can show, right? So we are curious about like what are the other accounts names. So in order to do that, we can type in some strange characters. If we type in the backward slash uh, and then click the view account details button, and this actually triggered the arrows as a result it basically shows the select statements here basically this is the statement that is used um, to select the, the user record on the database All right so let's paste it here yeah so basically this is the field where the user typing the username and this is the field where user typing the password Ideally, the user have to know the username and the password in order to reveal that account information. But we can somehow abuse this kind of uh, statement. Uh, the way that we can do is that uh, maybe we can inject some strange characters. Uh, for example, in the username field, what we can inject is that we can inject a single quote and or and one equals one and pound sign so and then we can you know ignore typing the password so let's see what will happen so if we type in the single quote and or and one equals one and pound sign and then let's click the view account details and interestingly that all the accounts information has been displayed so what has happened so let's take a look at the details. So this is the part where we have injected, right? So when, when, the, when the user typing this part, so the, what it means is that this single quote will match up with the previous single quote here. As a result, the username will be specified as an empty string. Uh, and uh, in the condition, we add some other operators, that is or, 1 equals 1, we know that 1 equals 1 will always return true 
and then this or one equals one uh, you know will always no matter what the username has typed in it will always be evaluated to true then as a result when this statement has been applied to the you to the accounts table each record uh, you know on each record it will return true as a result each record will be selected so and another thing is that uh, we put a pound at the end of the input string the pound in the SQL is specifically meaning comments meaning whatever has left after this pound sign will all be commented out as a result this is the actual statement that is executed in the database uh, on this account table you know the condition would be always true or username equals empty right so so that means you know it, if it's always true or and another condition this always evaluated to be true right so this is the reason why we, when we type in this input it's going to be displayed as uh, it's going to select all the accounts and all the accounts will be displayed right so that's the idea of that's the basic idea of the SQL injection uh, let's look at another example um, so here um, let's go to 2017 AY injection and bypass authentication right? bypass authentication and login so here uh, we want to uh, type in the username and the password and hopefully we can log in so um, so if we don't know any username and just randomly guess one and click the login and probably it will fail and it will say that the password is incorrect All right so how do we bypass that so firstly we need to figure out the what the account will look like what the SQL statement will look like we click this uh, we're typing this backward slash button and click login and trigger the server arrow uh, notice that this usually doesn't happen a lot but it's especially since it's especially crafted uh, vulnerable server then it allows us to do that if we click the backward slash what will happen is that backward slash will combine with the following quote and then it will be treated as a quote sign as a quote character within whatever the user needs to type in here but this SQL statement is incomplete because the username is specified to start at a single quote as we said that the backward slash quote is not going to be considered as the part of the SQL language instead it's only to be the part what the user has typed in then it's missing another ending quote as a result this SQL statement is not complete right so then as a result this SQL is going to be uh is going to throw an arrow and then that SQL statement is going to be displayed here but this gives us a chance to analyze this statement and to see that what we can type in in order to display the username anyway it's going to log in the username right so then what we can guess is that we can do the same trick um, so this is a SQL statement that needs to be uh, needs to be abused right, so we can type in here Uh, we can type in here so this is SQL statement that needs to be uh needs for the attacker to um to 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 abuse right so what the attacker can do uh you know the user let's say the attacker don't know a real username then he won't be able to log in but what he can do is that he can play the same trick for example he can put the quote sign here so that he can uh wrap up with the username equals empty and then after that he's going to do or right because he want to select uh at least the one record then if he put or then one equals one then that will always evaluate to be true for any of the username right so as i said that there's another ending quote that is unpaired so we need to add a, a pound sign to comment this ending quote right so then hopefully this input will give us some uh, information to will, will will help us to achieve our goal so 
so he, this statement does not include any password logic. So then we didn't, don't need to worry too much about that. So then let's try it. Let's just type in this. Uh, let's just paste this uh, uh, input here. Right. So let's say if it works, uh, we click the login button. And surprisingly, as you can see that now the login user account become admin. Right. So that we successfully bypass the authentication but we be able to log in as a domain. Right. So those are the examples of SQL injection. Of course, SQL injection have a lot of other usage and feel free to check our uh, lab manuals. And it includes a lot of details, uh, especially, uh, you know, here in the, here it has some videos basically to show you uh, exactly how to do the SQL injection uh, from different uh, techniques. All right. So let me know what you think. Thank you and take care.